I got a nosebleed every day for years. Oh, he needs some milk. The senior year of college, we were out and about, and there was this girl that recently became single. You know her. Uh, the fans don't, but her name's... Who? <laughs> 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 is this girl that I've been trying to flirt with for a while. She had a boyfriend, would come to our parties, and then I like finally got her on this like semi-date. We get our crepes at this place like a couple blocks from the house. As we sit down and just like, I don't know if it was the steam from the hot crepes or something, <laughs> but it unlocks something in my nose, dude. And it's a faucet like I've never seen before. <laughs> Dude, it was so bad. It's, it was like like, one of the, it's like a dormant volcano. It went <laughs> dormant for right. four years. I'm in Rhode Island. It was a nice day. I was just hanging out, got nothing to do. I'm like sunbathing. I'm in like literally this outfit right here. And like out of my periphery, I, I see like this, this girl. It looks like a minx, dude. So I like kind of like open my eyes, peek over, and uh, we, we lock eyes. I'm like, all right, I can't wait to see her approach because we've made eye contact. She's the one coming to me. Let's hear her open. And she's like, excuse me. I'm like, what's up? She's like, um, are you, um, are you by chance homeless? Oh! Yes! Zinger! Welcome to the Smart Nonsense Podcast, where we talk about smart Podcast. Fuck, dude, and the crowd sure goes I was wild. I wasn't and sure the before. crowd goes wild. The King's Speech, dude. Why October. Podcast? 18th 2023 welcome to the pod pop nice dude all it's aboard good day. good day to be alive let me uh just kick things off do you get nosebleeds ever oh and he's gone he's gone in the intro of the pod he's he's left so go subscribe on youtube it's interactive yeah, i'm back do you, do you um, get nosebleeds often i went through a phase dude and i think i bottled up this phase oh, no. but i got a nosebleed every day for years <laughs> dude, I, I swear to god i get the luckiest threads dude dude i i don't know what happened but like i think what i don't know if this is a real blame but what what i do or the real cause but i blame uh freshman year in hockey we'd have this thing it was like uh, our hazing all the freshmen which are like 14 year olds half of them gone through puberty the other half like me hadn't and then you have the 18 year olds who have like fucking full facial hair <laughs> big cocks dude huge in case you were wondering and um and they're just swinging so we're just basically like naked locker boxing um these 18 year old men and one of those men just fucking knocked me right wham in the Th this is like me wearing a helmet so you have a helmet with a cage and then just uh gloves like your hockey gloves nothing else and uh, whammoed, <laughs> smack my face, my like cage hit my nose. And I, I literally for years, it was just every morning, a hot shower would just <laughs> all over my face, <laughs> my whole body, really. It was like, I might produce 50% more blood than the average human just because of that, like adapting to it. Dude. So, <laughs> but something happened, I don't get them anymore. So it's sick. The faucet, dude, it turned <laughs> off. <laughs> So you take a hot shower and just be covered in blood every morning. Every morning at about fifteen morning. years old. Yeah, dude. Wow. And this other kid, Julius, son, talking about nosebleeds. <laughs> Fucking fourth grade, dude. I used to sit on the bus next to him every morning. Not every morning. Like once a week, he'd show up with this, um, like just a wad, just a wad <laughs> shoved deep in his nose. I wouldn't talk to him. He'd just sit next to me, and his breast stunk, and he had a bloody little nostril. And I'm like, dude. Uh, I want none of that. So yeah, it's kind of common. Wow, dude, the, the thread around. that keeps on threading. I think I had heard about Julius, but not that you were doused in blood every morning. Yeah. I just bring this up because I never get nosebleeds. And oh. it was about two in the morning last night. I had just gone pee Don't. and I came back to bed. Oh, there he is. Sorry. Sorry. The thread that keeps on threading. Um, <laughs> bottle it up. And I lay back down. I'm about to fall asleep. And then my nose just feels like really really runny like not like the sniffles it's like mm, thick. way too loose to be anything else you know you oh, do one loose. of these uh, and then your whole dude. hand is red yes, and so i just cobble over to the bathroom i'm leaving blood trails all over the floor and i was just like this is a ridiculous a ridiculous thing you just mm. the faucet dude you just start pouring blood out of your face i was yeah. fine cleaned it up dripped everywhere i had to clean that up at 2 a.m you, you want to know a bad time to have a 
a drip faucet face? Uh, giving a presentation. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Um, I'm trying to think if that happened. No, I don't think that happened. I'll give you a second <laughs> good one. On a date. You went on a date? Um, no, this is years ago, dude. Back when the faucet was running. Um, <laughs> dude. I, I don't know if I've told you this story. If it was no, on, dude. Whatever. But, I was, um, this was my like 30 second intro. And this is now the faucet episode. <laughs> well, <laughs> dude, totally dude, the unknown. Pistol Pete from that. <laughs> um, yeah, so this was June, uh, no, senior year. Um, the senior year of college, uh, we were out and about, and there was this girl that recently became single. Uh, you know her. Uh, the fans don't. But her name's Monica. <laughs> <laughs> Monica is this girl that I've been trying to flirt with for a while. She had Carry a boyfriend, on, would come to our parties. Um, and then I like finally got her on this like semi date. I don't even know if it was a date. It was just like, hey, I owe you for some reason from some bet. So I'm going to go buy you crepes sort of thing. Um, let's call it a date. So like literally just go. We, we get we get our crepe at this place like a couple blocks from the house. And like as we sit down and just like. I don't know if it was the steam from the hot crepes or something, <laughs> but it unlocked something in my nose, dude. And it's a faucet like I've never seen before. Dude, it was so bad. It's, it like, was like, one of, it's like a dormant volcano. It went dormant dude, for right. four years. It's it's the moisture. I don't know what it is, but it just it was like winter too, so it was all fucked. Um, I do one of those because you're like, oh, fuck, I got a runny nose. It's like, that's so runny. And it's, it's so dude, runny. You see the red runner? <laughs> And you're like, that's that's oh. not it, dude. Um, she's like, uh oh, looks like you got a bloody nose. And I'm like, you don't know what's coming. So we we walk out to like find uh -oh. tissues or something. And I'm like, this there's not gonna be enough. So we start moving. I'm like, we just gotta get out of here. Like, let me let me figure. I don't know. We we just like evacuate this crate place. And um, dude, it was like. It might have been top ten bloody noses I've ever had <laughs> at the worst moment. Like Crack my hands were just covered. I had no, I had no like access to napkins. I don't know why we, left, <laughs> but like it was just all over my hands. I was like trying to oh, like, yeah. smash my hand <laughs> into my face to block it. Right. And so last night it was all over my hands. It was all over my feet. There's just blood everywhere. Dude, uh, dude, it's it's so <laughs> she she was a little like she couldn't have a conversation because it was like blood <laughs> spilling out of my mouth. Cause I'd like block here and it just come out of my mouth. <laughs> and, and she's like, I don't know what to do with you. And I'm like, I don't know either. It was like five minutes into our date, dude. I literally just got there. And she's and like, it's not a um, date. It's best no, buddies. I don't know what it was. Cause we weren't really friends, but, um, she brings me back to her dorms. I'm like, fucking nice, dude. That's one way to get back. But it's not though. Cause I was just spewing over her whole dorm room. And I'm like, I just got to go home. And I just abandoned everything. Dude. And then our best friend dated her. And, uh, oh. I, I never did. The biohazard, dude. Um, that's sick. Let's pivot. Um, a quick one I've got, and then you've got a story to tell about Slick Rick. Ugh. Um, <laughs> so we have this this new diet, right? You brought me onto it. It's called the Sweet Green Diet. Ah, yeah. basically, you subscribe to Sweet Green's monthly sweet pass, sweet tart tart and pass, mm -hmm. and you get three dollars off one salad every day. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been doing that for lunch every day for the last like three months. I've lost 10 pounds. Wow. Yeah. Nice. And I was just wow. meeting up with a friend last night who's on the sweet green diet. By the way, these are like $12 salads for lunch every day. Is that even I was a just, lot? I don't, know, is that, I don't know what that is for money wise. I think for how filling they are and how good the ingredients are, that's like, that's cheeks, yeah. dude. All day yeah. long. Um, cause I was pounding like spaghetti and meatballs from Whole Foods. Which are really good too, but you don't. Well, I pound like two of them. It's like twelve hundred calories, and you're hungry an hour later. So right. no wonder. Uh, I was meeting up with a friend last night, who recently got on the sweet green diet. He's lost five pounds in two weeks, dude. Oh, nice, dude. Undefeated, really, undefeated. Oh. Um, he gets one salad delivered every day, though, so they're like nineteen bucks. But one salad the price. He gets them oh, delivered. God. Doesn't pick wow. them up. Wow. What's he do for work? It's a great question. Um, can't get into it. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, oh. Um. He's a UI designer. So pop. 
you yeah. were in Rhode Island this weekend. That's just an update on this weekend. Oh, that was your whole threat. That's you just the wanted whole... to brag that you lost 10 pounds, huh? No, 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 no. I wanted right, to dude. I wanted to provide a testimonial for the sweet green diet. Oh. We've already talked no, about sick. the 10 pounds I lost. Right. But now I eat right. Halo Top at midnight. Ah, uh, well, that's not part of the diet. Um, yeah, Can dude, you... I went home. Okay. I did go home. Okay. Um, why did I go home? I went home for a phantom bachelor party. <laughs> what does that mean? I just well, here's, here's the problem. Okay. Let's start with like the, the bigger picture. The bigger picture is my half brother. He is 20 years older than me. So he's 45, uh, 19 <laughs> technically, but 20 years older than me. And he's getting married for the first time. Um, pretty late in the game. There's a lot to roast there, but I can't really roast him. And why I have to roast him is because I'm his best man. Uh, we've talked about this before. I'm his best man, but I feel like I don't know the guy. Like he just didn't grow up with him. He'd just come back for Christmas. Give me a little Charlie horse where he grabs my fucking leg and I squeal like a pig and he gives me 200 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I really know about him. Um, Not so the somehow, pig squeal? Dude. It hurt a lot, and I was like, "Dude, in elementary school, did you do this? We would, um, you would run up on somebody and just sneak attack all, just the boys, which we talked a couple episodes about, where all the boys had to get called into the principal's auditorium or whatever, um, because we were throwing out f bombs and r bombs and g bombs. Oh. So subscribe. But um, we would just run up next to a kid, and you you just throw your knee into their quad. They'd be oh. paralyzed." So you'd run up to the side of their leg right here, and you would just throw a knee into it. Instant paralyzation. Paralysis, some would say. Damn. You didn't do that? Thank God that didn't make it to the East Coast, dude. That must be a Midwest sort of thing. (sighs) Dude, you'd just Uh, be on the ground, like, fucking rolling in pain. It was the most painful thing ever. This... I don't want to transition into it. It could have been a nice transition, but because of my middle school experiences, I can't... I can't... Where did this feeling come from? Oh, I was on my back, dude. I was on my back sunbathing. This is in Rhode Island. We're going to come back to this in a second. I was on my back sunbathing or on my like front, I guess. Like my back was up. My butt was up. And dude, the whole time I was just waiting for some fucking stranger to just come with their little <laughs> finger and just jam it in my butthole. It was Gaddafi. Uh, uh, Gaddafi, dude. Um, <laughs> but that wasn't even bad. Have I talk, talked about like the gobble? You know the gobble? No. The gobbledygook, so. dude? <laughs> no. Oh, dude. I like how every eight-year-old like boy in the U.S., based on region, has like a different just torture dude, method. I wish I had the knee to the thigh, dude. The gobble was might be well. The gobble got me suspended. Um, oh, I got suspended a lot though. But Gaddafi, dude. Um. Well, so what so, happened wait, here? So, so to wrap on Gaddafi, basically. Um, oh. We had found out in like fourth grade that he was, I don't know, found in the hole and found in a hole and like they stabbed him in the butt or something to kill him. Oh. And so that's when we came up with the Gaddafi. Gaddafi! 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 I just got Gaddafi. <laughs> and you would just you would just throw one of these pinch fingers capiche. Oh, oh we'd go straight finger. Into, we'd just oh, go one, one finger. Yeah, one we'd finger just, jammer. Gaddafi. Um, <laughs> well, this this was arguably worse. Like Gaddafi might have been stoked uh with his bayonet butt compared to this. <laughs> because this dude, you're just walking. You're peaceful. You're just you got your like silky shorts on because that's what every kid wore. Um and out of nowhere, dude, if you got your back turned, oh, no. your buddy comes up, sticks his hand right right under your legs, right between them, grabs your sack, and, uh. and pull, pulls you. Pulls you up like a turkey, like a turkey. So I did it so bad that my buddy was hanging, hanging from the gobble. And um, he he like he got maybe half a foot of air and I dropped him. He hits the ground squealing, dude. The aide runs over. He's got tears coming down his eyes. And he's like, that guy did it to me. And I'm like, that guy, dude, I'm your best friend. He's Is like, he's, no, dude, he like, gobbled me bad. Like, and I got suspended two days. It's like your other best friend that you said go die in an effing hole. Um, I know. Did, Stab you right in the back. Is that guy sterile these days? Uh, could be. He's getting married, but... Um, Haven't found out. Well, yeah, the test is coming, but... Um, 
Huh. No, that was just a thing, dude. The gobble was a thing. I mean, that's like the next level thing. Like, you don't want it. You got to have your guard down if you're getting gobbled. I think we actually drew a line at things that messed with fertility like that. That's, dude, you could rip them off. Well, we had, we had like jalapenos that we just rub all over and see who could last the longest at lunch. <laughs> dude. You would rub jalapenos in your pants? Yeah. Jesus. Not like a frequent dude, thing. Dude, we got to like, get back to Rhode Island. My bad, dude. Present um, day. There's a lot packed up, but that was a really <laughs> tough math class, dude. Um, so that was subsequent. That was after the lunch break. Um, so, okay, dude, I'm supposed to be the best man. Don't really know what speech to give because I don't know this guy. But uh, there's another problem with that, right? Because the best man, what you're supposed to do is arrange the bachelor party. The problem is I don't know who his friends are, dude. Right. Don't know anything about him. So I don't know who to invite. I'm like, hey, dude, you want to do a party? Like, what's going on? He's like, no, I'm kind of like old. I've done it all. I don't really want to do a party. Uh, maybe we just go golfing or something. Basically, like I flood plans. And then like his actual best friend was like took the reins and was like, hey, we're going to do a party, whatever, at this golf thing. Um, so plans are all there. Uh, I get on the train to go back to Rhode Island to go to this like uh, cool top golf just hang out (laughs) like some events later but like literally the second i get on the train i get a text from my brother in the group chat he's like hey guys it's gonna rain we're gonna have to reschedule Uh, and i'm like i just got on the train dude uh, so now i'm like on a four-hour train it's a couple hundred bucks to get there uh, i'm like well i'm gonna be in rhode island (laughs) this weekend just hanging um and and um, the good thing is, like, I was happy to go because it was my mom's birthday the week before. So I'm like, I want to see her. Uh, that's fine. And it was supposed to be like my brother and her and my brother's to be wife. Uh, I'll grab dinner. But turns out they're in the feud of a century. They won't speak to each other for other reasons. That's that's like the empty. Uh, your mom and your brother so. or your brother and his fiance? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, the, the least bad of these two scenarios. Uh, my mom and my Are brother. feuding. Uh yeah. They're they're feuding because she's trying to teach him how to parent, and he's like, "Let me just be the parent." And uh, oh, it's, it's that's no what good. my my brother's got that same feud, same really feud tough, with my dude. mom. It's kind of like when you, <sighs> if you I, have a company, you got to let the person make the mistake. And then agreed. However, I'm gonna default to mom, dude. Moms know everything; they got the wisdom. I think um, you do have to let it them make can be mistakes. Annoying, though. It can be annoying. It can be annoying. But I'm like my mom. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's complicated. Don't it's complicated. don't need to get into it yet. But basically, I found myself on a train to go in a place that no one wants me. Um, <laughs> so I get to this place, and it's kind of like um, you see we, how I'm dressed. You saw the well, cobble. Are we gonna talk <laughs> the cobble, dude? We're I saw get to the, the bank. Cobble. Well, are we gonna talk of the bank? Oh, what did you want to talk about? Oh, did you say bank or bank? Bank. Bank, oh. dude. Because I'm wondering about the other thing you fucked up is you got a plus one going to your brother's wedding. No, I didn't. I didn't get a plus one. I thought I thought he texted you saying, "Hey, dude, uh, this girlfriend you used to have, who I'm setting a plate for at the wedding." No, that was my mom. That was my mom's plate. Oh. My mom said she's not going to go to the wedding. Oh. <laughs> Empty plate. Here, you had me thinking this whole time that you were bringing your ex to the wedding no. because there was a uh, second plate. Even if she were, even if we were together, uh, I didn't want her to go because I'm really nervous about the speech. Whoa, dude! You're gonna so have that, to record that was it, just... put it on the pod. Okay, okay, might have to. Okay, okay. okay. So, um, that's all fine. I'm in Rhode Island. Um, I'm just hanging out. Turns She's... out, like, oh. That's crazy if she's not threatening to not go to the wedding. Like, well, that's a feud. Uh, yeah, dude. A little Hatfield and McCoys, but it's the same family. Um, but the Hatfields. Different families. Yeah. Um, so, whatever. I'm in Rhode Island. Um, basically, long story short, it was a nice day. The, the day I got there, or like the morning after, I was just hanging out. Got nothing to do because like, fuck, uh, what am I going to do? So, I go to the park. I go to the park. It's really nice out. Okay. It was supposed to rain, but it's fine. It's like we could have still had this event, but it's fine. Um, I'm out there. It's really nice. I'm warm. I'm like sunbathing, but I, I, I want like a place to like lie down, but there's no real good place. Cause like, I don't know. I don't trust like morning ground cause it's kind of wet sometimes. Um, so I try and go on like this 
this is like park where you can like lift weights and things and it's got like this incline bench press I try and lie on the bench press um this is like with with my i was like lying with my head down and my butt up and i got really nervous some homeless guy was gonna come and like try and jab me um gaddafi but um i didn't really like that i was on an incline didn't like it so i like walk over to this bench and um i'm like all right i'm just gonna go hang on the bench and like as i sit there i'm like oh it's kind of nicer if i like lie down so i lie down on the bench and i'm just warm i'm in like literally this outfit right here and um i'm just cozy as can be and like out of my periphery i, I see like this this girl it looks like a minx dude a minx a minx is just like kind of kind of she's coming up on the prowl she's like i don't know she's like bogey is she gonna approach me on I'm, the I'm, six I'm, I'm trying to figure out what's going on so i like kind of like open my eyes peek over and uh we we lock eyes we lock eyes minx dude absolute minx Probably similar age, maybe twenty five or so, uh, maybe maybe like twenty three, and um, I'm like, all right, dude, I can't wait to see her approach because we've made eye contact. She's the one coming to me. Let's hear her opener, and she's like, excuse me. I'm like, what's up? She's like, um, are you um, are you by chance homeless? Oh like, yes, zinger. <laughs> I'm like, ah. Uh, Fuck, dude. Oh. Fuck. I'm like, me? No, I'm just fucking on the floor oh. out, dude. I'm just hanging out on the bench. Uh, she's like, oh, oh, so, so you, you get like, oh, sorry. Okay, okay. It was just like super awkward because she just like, she's like, this dude's homeless. Like, let me like see if he needs food stamps or something. Um, just like a sweet, like, charity oh. girl or something. Oh. Um, turns out I'm not homeless. And I actually have like six grand a month in leases. So like the opposite <laughs> of homeless. Homed. But literally just the way I dress and uh, how I was looking. Just lying. Wow, the dude. And then she was just on her way? She, Dude, she scrambled. She was just like, I may have just dished this guy the worst insult he's ever seen. That's uh, crazy. It's like, no. Like, I didn't know how to. I was like, no, I'm just like enjoying the sun. She's like, oh, I thought you look like a homeless man, <laughs> dude. And I'm like, oh, that's a like that's a, a new low, dude. Hobo. We talk about like, like the only incentive I had to look good was to like, <laughs> like find like I, I just default if there's like no need to just like wear this all day every day, and, right? Um, and your prospective mate comes up to you on the street and asks if you're homeless, right? I thought so. That's dude, how I, thought that's I was about going. to finesse that. That's how um, that. That's so. That was incredible. the start of my weekend. It was basically a is that the slick party and I'm you said the slick bench thread is that the is that that yeah that was that um you know some would say there were better ways to tell that story because it no that was great it, and I'll take a bite and I'll add on okay because I I found this thing where once you've found a mate I've seen this oh. in all the men in my life there's this tendency to just like stop doing right. everything right. And we talked about that when we were in LA. So I signed up for Stitch Fix. And nice. this is just a nibble. It's just a nibble. I've gotten two That's Stitch Fix boxes. I'm very happy with what they've sent me because I'm, I'm not happy enough to wear it. That's true. Well, they're not my work clothes. See, see, that's what it is, is I, I had nothing in my closet that said, like, I'm an adult and I go out with my girlfriend and I look nice. I've uh, just, I'm rolling stones, dude, and fucking yeah. steel toe boots. You can't. So anyway, um, I'm I'm fighting the good fight, trying to not be the the 50 year old guy who just wears the same thing and the same boots every day. And his wife's like, "That's it." Well, That's it. is the problem there though that you catfished her, as in you came in dressing in suits and now you're in sweatpants? No. But if you start with sweatpants, is it fine throughout? Like if Maybe. you start homeless. Maybe expectations are homeless. I'm just like we're gonna, so we're gonna go see a, an improv show tonight. I would like to not. I would like to have something to wear, but like all I got during the day is graphic tees. Mm. It's just like a me thing. Like I, I gotta take off the hat and I gotta go out. But well, you don't want to take off min. the hat. Bare men. I've curtains. seen you with the hat off, dude. <laughs> you don't want to take off the hat. Um. So. With that, well, hold on. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, 
was that your last thread? Because I want to. No, say I actually thing. got a valuable thread, but hit oh, me. Okay. I do. Well, I, was, I did need to I was leave say, fifteen minutes ago. Okay, but that's all right, dude. I was gonna say the our starter story dropped. Well, this is gonna be a month late. Oh. but um, that was kind of cool. Super cringe to watch. That's your thread. Uh, yeah, I didn't think it was cringe. Um, well, sick video, dude. For for how we shot really it, good. for how we shot it in person, that was post production magic, miracle, dude. A miracle. What do you got, dude? I got a value. Well, that was that was a sad one. Um, I said on the pod like a, maybe a week or two ago that I spend just an, a ridiculous... I spend basically all of my weekend cleaning and doing laundry. And so, dude, because I practice what I preach, I went out and I found a cleaner, okay? Oh. A weekly nice. cleaner at that. Weekly, dude. Weekly. So, so I went out. I found this cleaner. I tried her once. She was great. And then I took the Naval to the limit and I was like, my, my, my time is worth a lot of money. Okay. Is it? It is. So I can't be spending, I can't be, (laughs) fuck. (laughs) I can't be spending all weekend cleaning our apartment. Plus I think my need to clean is like total OCD anxiety. So like Mm. dirty things just give me a lot of stress. So I was like, what if I can reclaim all of my time by getting a cleaner <laughs> and by pitch? having a cleaner <laughs> and by having a cleaner, I no longer have to stress about the countertops being clean, the floor being clean, all that. So, dude, i um, putting my money where my mouth is. Weekly cleaner that does laundry. She's going to wash uh, and fold laundry. 110 bucks. Whoa. Nice. Because I took her off the platform she was on. Oh. She was like, she was like on platform or off or off platform. I was like, you, you tell me, Whoa, you tell me, do you want to make more money? <laughs> um, uh, that's interesting, dude. I'm getting platformed right now, but it's fine. Cause it's like still not what's platform. Expensive. Oh, you're on the platform. Yeah. Just, you know, well, it was almost mind. 200 bucks to get enough time and to do laundry and all that on the platform. Mm. Uh, wait, two, I got two points on that one. I'm already seeing the stress in the OCD lift because now I look at like our slightly dirty floors or our slightly dirty bathroom sink. And I'm like, Hey dude, that'll be taken care of on Saturday. You're fine. And so I just let it go. Um, the second thing is we're going to be out of town this weekend and we can just give her access to our room. And so when we get back, right, I usually spend all weekend cleaning and doing laundry. When we get back, it's just going to be done. What's so long as she doesn't rob the place. When you end up with an extra two, three hours a week, what are you going to do with that? Oh, with my time? Yeah. Oh, so this is interactive. Well, here's what That's I'm wondering. Question. I have a philosophy or a belief, I should say, that um, I think everyone in New York, at least, they're so busy that they wouldn't know what to do with themselves if they didn't mm. have to do all these errands. <laughs> Because all That's I true. see them do is like cook, that, clean, shop. It kind of gives me purpose for the whole weekend. But I would much rather be reading, watching YouTube videos, hanging out with friends or my significant other, or I don't know, doing pottery, exercising, yeah. uh, walking the dog. So I don't think that's going to be an issue for me. We'll see. I'll have to report back. I'll have to report back on all this reclaimed time. Because one thing, one unintended consequence is like, I, I do have to be out of the apartment for four hours on Saturday with the dog. Why don't right, you, so, why so do, like, you do it on Saturday? Why don't you do it on a weekday? That, I, I still got to test that. Part of it's I got to get the dog out of there because she's kind of a nuisance. Oh, I, okay. You're right. You're right. So, but I could test bringing the dog with me to work like, <laughs> on a Friday morning because she'll just sleep. But she's just scary. Sometimes, dude, is this a podcast or is this just uh, oh, it's your weekend chores? <laughs> um, no, that's 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 awesome, dude. I'm proud of you. Uh, I'm going for <laughs> monthly. Um, I think most people would lose their mind with uh, with boredom if they didn't have. Oh. They just watch more Netflix, um, which I guess is fine. But that's why most people don't Any don't pros? do it. Like you, you messaged. Oh, oh, you said you're going for monthly. Doesn't matter, dude. Go to go! Uh, what was your final point? I don't know, dude. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. 